right, just got back from a test drive and I went ahead and opened the trunk, popped the hood on this car so I'm not flipping the camera around. But this right here is a 1968 Chevelle. It's a true SS four speed car. There's like 320 on the horse, matching number motor, 396. There's no power steering on this car. Does run and drive down the road really good. If you check out my uh, test drive video, you'll be able to see that. Like I said, I just opened it all up so I'm not flipping the camera around. I'm not trying to hide anything up here at Maple Motors. The trunk does open very easily. It does need weather stripping all the way around. You see it's kind of deteriorated there. The trunk doesn't look bad. Somebody spray painted or spatter painted it at some point. looks pretty solid up in here go ahead and shut the trunk down see it shuts pretty easily I'll go ahead and open it one more time just to let y'all know We're gonna look all the way around this car for any kind of flaws that I can find. That way when you get here, you're not surprised by anything. Definitely check out our website, maplemotors.com. All we sell is classic American hot rods. And hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. By the end of this, I'll have the hood down. We'll do some undercarriage shots as well. We'll start up here in the front. Front bumper is showing signs of wear. You can see it's got some pitting. A new set of bumpers for this car is about 300 bucks for front and rear. See some cracking in the paint. Set of white stripes around the front, some touch up marks there. Tires on it are good all the way around. See where they ran the stripes all the way up in here bottom of the passenger door has got some rust bubbles popping up it's actually just the front fender not the door trim around the windows look pretty good the hood itself has clear coat coming up all over it it's gonna need to be reshot like I said we'll be putting that down later on after I start the car up a little haziness through this area here Couple chips on the roof. See that door sitting in just a little bit. Door handle's got a little bit of pitting in it. Dents popping up in the fender there as well as some bubbles. Back tires are in great shape. Getting nice and close on all these uh, little spots that I'm seeing here. Cracking in the paint right here. Back bumpers also got blemishes. See some dents in the trim. Bubbles popping up on the back here. It's like the paint's flaking. I'd say some, uh, and it started as a crack. Water got under there, froze, and busted it. All the way up through here. A bird got me on my test drive. 
But yeah, all the way up through up here is all cracked. Definitely want y'all to know all this stuff before you show up. Get down on the lower side again. bubbles popping up through this black lower part Like I said, clear coat's coming up on the hood. There's definitely some chips, chunks missing. All stuff you need to know about. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head to the interior of this car and check out the rest of it. Weather stripping around the doors. Pretty hard, needs to be replaced. The door itself the material on it's kind of hanging a little bit carpet's been replaced in this it looks really nice interior itself looks good top of the seats got some cracks back seats in good shape Door panels are in good shape back there as well. Headliner looks pretty good. Sorry about that. Go ahead and jump up in here. Hey guys, there's a thing we like to do on all the videos. We're gonna do a horn pole. It's up there on the right, top right corner. If you think it works, push yes. If you think it doesn't work, then hit no. Dash pad itself. Looks like it's getting a little bit warped. The sun's getting to that one. We'll go ahead and try the horn. Hear it click. It's clicking, but it's not honking. So that doesn't work. Let's go ahead and try to start it up. Come on. I think battery's a little weak on this. We'll throw a fresh battery in it here in a moment. Blower motor's working. Just blew something out in the floor there. It's like some hay or something. Radio does not work. Your windshield wipers do work. Need to turn the idle down a little bit. It's way up there. It is an older looking carb. pretty quiet sounds like one of the pulleys is squeaking a little bit all right the hood's a little bit stiff coming down so you got to rock it back and forth that way you don't bend the edges Sitting a little low in the front there, probably do some 
minor adjusting to get that back up. Some cracking in the hood and the paint's pretty much gone on it. Needs a clear coat. But it's not too bad, I mean, for a true SS four-speed matching number 396 car, it's gonna need some work for 28.9. Mainly just cosmetically, it does run and drive very good. Definitely check out the test drive video. This thing's got a little bit of power. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get on it real hard or nothing, but you could feel it, that's for sure. We're gonna get some undercarriage shots. I'm gonna start up here in the front. Go to the passenger side, the rear, and the driver's side, and we'll conclude this video. Let's go under. appreciate you watching go ahead and hit that subscribe button we post videos every single day of these kind of cars we'll try to help you out but go to my website maplemotors.com i got financing options available as well as transportation we can ship these cars anywhere in the u.s if you don't like these wheels we got wheels tires parts and accessories as well make sure this car is still available on our website before calling us you can see that directly at maplemotors.com i appreciate y'all watching Thanks again, guys.